Jacques Delisle marked the end of his long legal saga by pleading guilty to manslaughter in the death of his wife, Nicole Rainville. There is not this cloud over, over him anymore. That's certainly a relief. It's been 15 years since Rainville, partially paralyzed from a stroke, died from a gunshot wound to the head. Delisle has always maintained her death was a suicide, but he was convicted of first-degree murder in 2012 and sentenced to life in prison. He appealed and lost. How do you do? Delisle later told the Fifth Estate and Radio Canada that he gave his wife the loaded gun she used to kill herself, but that he didn't murder her. There are innocent persons in prisons. You have one in front of you. The federal justice minister ordered a new trial in 2021, citing a likely miscarriage of justice. After nearly nine years in prison, Delisle was released. In this latest court appearance, the Crown and defence didn't agree on what happened that day, but did agree on a guilty plea to the lesser charge and a sentence, time served plus a day. The charge that I thought was more appropriate was um, assisting suicide. But it was not accepted. Prosecutors say they still believe the original murder conviction is closer to the truth, but say the case has gone on long enough. He spent almost nine years in prison, 88 years old. Uh, we do not believe that we will have been able to stand trial. I've always thought it unfortunate this case was ever prosecuted in the first place. Lawyer James Lockyer took on Delisle's case after he lost his appeals. Whilst today has an unsatisfactory tinge to it, uh, it's nevertheless uh, uh, a day that enables Mr. DeLille to, and, and his family uh, to get back to normalcy. DeLille's one-day sentence lasted only a few hours. By the end of the afternoon, he was free. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.